Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I am coming on to say hi. Happy Thursday. I pray that you all are having a great morning. I pray that your families are doing well. And I just pray that you were protected throughout tonight. You know, because there's so much going on in the world. There's so much going on. But I'm just grateful. I am just parked at my mom's because I'm supposed to watch the babies today. I'm supposed to watch the twins. So we'll see how that go because they are too, they're getting so big. But I just wanted to encourage you guys and let you know that God is able. The thing I thought about this morning is how we all love blessings. Oh, man, I love blessings. Blessings are like, we all love being blessed. But we forget how it walks with obedience. And nobody teaches that, that you have to be obedient to God's word and what he tells you to do. You know, it's so much that God tells me to do, but I don't do it. And I have to ask God to forgive me. You know, it came over me a couple of days ago that I have to repent because I haven't listened to what God said. So it's important for us to repent, you know, repent and do things the way he, he planned. Let me park correctly. And do the way things that he planned, you know, for our life. He, he, he's the one. He wants to see us happy you know he wants everything to work out for us but we all have to walk in obedience do what his words say there and it's one thing that I've been working on is read my word you know because we can't blame nobody that we don't know our word the only person we can blame is ourselves. You know, because even during the pandemic, when that hit, it was a lot that we could have been doing. That's when I noticed I was not reading my word. I was not doing what I was supposed to be doing. And that's having a relationship with God. So God says in his word how obedience bring blessings. Obedience bring righteousness. Obedience bring you closer to Christ. And it strips away the old things that are inside. You know, the old attitudes, the old people. It strips it away. And you're able to see things new. You know, just like how the fall and the leaves are falling and the trees are going through their season. And how when the spring hit, it's going to sprout up new. God is want us to get something new. He wants something new to come up for us. So it's it's important that we remain obedient. We got to seek his face. He said, in all things acknowledge him. And he shall direct our path. We have to make sure we're directing our path. We have to make sure that we're listening. You know, it's something I learned. Because I keep, I keep thinking about how, hey... Where is, what's going on? You know, you want things to move in your life, but it could be just you. You're stagnated. You're not listening to what God had to say. You're not reading your word. You're not trusting in those promises. See, the blessings are the promises. It, that is promised to us, the people that are obedient to God. It is a promise. It is a guarantee that he's going to do this for you. But you have to walk in obedience. And what is obedience? Living out the word. Not just hearing the word, but being doers of the word. So just wanted to encourage you this morning that we have to be doers of the word. And we have to remain obedient. And then God will bless you. You don't have to worry about that. It comes with the territory of you doing God's will. But stay encouraged this morning, guys. Have a blessed day. And I'm going to get in here with these twins and see what they up to. <laughs> but I'll see y'all later. Bye-bye. Hey. Hey, how are you? Hello. 
So, hey guys. Hi. Get over that. Say hi. Hi. This is Bailey. And that is Philip. PJ, PJ. Yeah. Okay. Look at this girl. She wants to put on a book bag. Big book bag. Belly, stay on this carpet. Good girl. <laughs> Thank you for watching.